Uh, I'm Alex Fallman. I'm a college student at College of the Redwoods. That's the community college in my town. Uh, I'm affiliated with the True North Organizing Network in Del Norte County and Humboldt County and the adjacent tribal lands. Last fall uh, and so all of last year, we did a huge season of listening, and the people that we listened to, out of that uh, season of listening, we decided that education in our community was probably the biggest issue that we need to focus on. So True North had a, um, they hosted a nonpartisan school board candidates forum. It was the first nonpartisan forum in our community. True North has realized that there are two big things in our county that we really need to be tackling. Number one is an ACLU lawsuit. Um, the ACLU re realized that uh, people of color in our community are just, there's a disparity between people of color and white people and the punishments they receive. And then the second thing, which is what I mainly focus on, is our LCAP and how to get more people involved with the LCAP. What we found through studying the LCAP last year's LCAP is that um, they listened to a lot of young people. There are a lot of students that participated, but not a lot of parents or community members. Got it. And for people who don't know, can you just um, explain what the LCAP is? The LCAP is the um, Local Control Accountability Plan. Uh, it's mandated by every school district to follow an, um, a local control accountability plan, and school districts are mandated to listen to, they're mandated to get input from community members, students, parents, teachers, administrators, in just forming their education plans and goals for the next year. How do you ensure that um, the people you're involving in the seasons of listening um, represent um, the diversity of, of Northern California? Mm, I think just specific targeting. Um, a couple weekends ago, we had a huge house meeting uh, full of 75, I think 75 to 100 people showed up that were all Latino, and they talked a lot about um, issues that are really important to our Latino community. We have... Um, a Klamath local organizing committee. Klamath is an area south of Crescent City that um, is uh, that's where a lot of the Native Americans in our community live. Uh, ooh, this is this is hard for me. It's a little emotional actually. And my mom was uh, addicted to drugs for a very long time, and uh, she's clean today. But in order for her to get clean, she had to move out of our community. Delaware County doesn't have adequate resources to help people who need help with um, overcoming drug addiction or mental illness. So her words today that really impacted me were, I'd be dead if I stayed in Delmar County. And I don't want anybody to live like my mom again in my community, in my home. There was a lady that I worked with last summer. Um, her and I facilitated a module um, for young people, 65 youth participated in it, and all the youth that participated that were above 18, we registered to vote. Her name's Melissa Darnell. She dragged me in to do this and said, hey, Alex, let's, can you do this with me? And I told her, of course, I can try and do that. So it was a big step for me to jump out of kind of sitting on the sidelines, and thanks to her, she really put, picked me up and really just gave me the skills that I need to be a successful organizer. I credit her with um, motivating me to run for office. You know, she didn't tell me to run for office, but she's the big inspiration for why I did that. She made me feel like I could. Can you talk a little bit about that campaign? What office were you running for? Um, how did it go? How did you approach the campaign? Uh, I ran for the Fort Dick Fire Protection District. For my campaign, I really had to work the, the youth angle, being a young kid. I was born and raised here, and I really tried to emphasize that this is my home, and I care about what happens here on any level of government, whether it's you know a small fire board um, or state offices, whatever, whichever level of government. Uh, I really tried to just use my campaign to bring about new conversations for the district and just really assuring people that there is somebody that is listening to you in government. Great. And uh, after that experience, would you run again? Looking forward to the next campaign.